What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. It's Chess Productions here. So back with a brand new reacting video today. We we finish um reacting to the Yellow Jacket video if you saw the last episode. Um so today we're gonna react to Brave Wilderness, Coyote Person getting stung by the Warrior Wasp. And <laughs> um we have not seen this video in a long time, so we don't remember what happens, but Hey, it's good to react to some old stuff. Then again, I never watched them again because I wanted to do them on camera. But, um, yeah, letting you know, um, if you guys wonder if I'm ever going to do the warrior wasps thing, I will do it. Actually, we're going to do it. We will do it. However, there's one problem. It won't be this year. Uh, honestly, it won't be this year because there's a good reason. I'm going to tell you in the end of this video, but for now, we just want to watch this. And, um, yeah, you want to say anything before we start? I'm going to get stung by this eventually. And also, that's not the only species. Whatever species this is, I found out that there's more than just one species of warrior wasp. So. Yeah. Every species has a different species. Um, so... So yeah, let's get into the video. Yes, the conclusion. So this thing came in there. Has finally right. That does sound like that hurt. Yeah. What's oh, the data? in relation to the work that we do. And my climb toward its summit began with a small creature known as the harvester ant. This experiment into what happens from an onslaught of stings opened the door to a world of pain that I would attempt to endure in the name of education and science. If you're watching this video, there's a good uh. chance you remember the velvet ant. Also known as a cow killer, this wingless wasp is famous okay, for having been the largest stung by harvester, in the insect We've been kingdom. stung by cow killers. The sting from that creature was intense, but it didn't end there. This is the worst thing I've ever taken. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Ugh, the just by thinking of it, it's actually as painful. Promised, with a tidal wave of pain that literally... We've been stung by transom hawks, but not this one. We want to get stung by this one, which we'll do it this year when we go to the Arizona. The then again, it was supposed to be a surprise. And only bullet We're gonna do this guy this year, kingdom. and you guys will see the grand finale in our channel. Next Focus on the tree. Nest. Of angry oh, hell no. No. Man, a lot higher up there than I thought. This is going to definitely be tough. <laughs> it does. Right, look again. Double check. Yeah. Oh, no. Wasps. 100%. And that nest is so big. There are probably thousands of them in there, all inside the walls. All it takes is a little disturbance for them to literally spill out and swarm like mad. Oh. And they're incredibly fast, much faster than your typical paper wasp. The local expert that tipped us off to this field where he said, yeah, I've seen warrior wasps there before. 
actually at one point threw a rock through a nest and I was told that they spilled out of the nest so fast he barely even had time to think about running let alone making an escape to try to get to his vehicle and in the process he was stung multiple times and had to go to the hospital. We do know they are incredibly fast and incredibly aggressive so for Mark and Mario we're going to actually set up a mosquito net here underneath the overhang oh, of this tree. I got and that will hopefully keep you guys safe and out of the sting zone because as you know the sting zone goal with this is simply on my forearm not all over our bodies. I'm going to be wearing a bee suit so hopefully that will protect me as I go in to extract one of these ornery little insects. And with any luck we're going to get one up closer to the cameras. Known as one of the most aggressive paper wasp species in the world these beautiful insects carry the warrior moniker from their commitment to attacking anything that disturbs their nest. However, very few people have ever been stung by one of these insects because unlike normal paper wasp species, they often build their massive nests high up in the trees of the central and South American rainforests. Imagine doing the war the place where humans virtually never oh, encounter no. them. Yes, I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it too. Let's go catch a warrior wasp. But because we've done it with the ring paper wasps right, and they never stung I'm ready. Us. Let's get you tucked underneath yeah, the uh, there, Chris, so net here. Now, if you catch a few species event away from there, I am swarmed. It is best for you guys to just stay completely put and yeah, underneath this. Wrap back. yourselves up as tight as you can. There's a good chance they're not going to get through there. No, so, mosquito nets, so all the, the webbing is very tightly wound. Yeah. Also, you want to take another sting, another painful sting? Take the ring paper. Still, it's going to be very nerve wracking experience to this thing. Oh my god, that one. painful sting you want Anybody watching this video, go tell Are Coyote Pearson to get stung by the ring paper wasp. There, you have it. Alright guys, I am now going to slowly approach the nest. And the goal is going to be to just hold the net up in the air and see if I can get wasps to actually come to the net. If I am swarmed, it is going to be an incredibly bad situation. I'm very close now. We're all down on the low end. Oh, starting to swim around me. There are a couple moving around me left and right. My tactic was simple. Coax a single wasp from the nest using my extendable GoPro arm. And then quickly swipe it up using my entomology net. This was primed to be one of the most dangerous animal catches I had ever attempted as disturbing the nest could literally mean thousands of these fearless warriors swarming me and the crew. Okay, I'm going to cut this handheld camera and go for a catch. Here we go. How high is it? Oh no! They move their wings like a ring paper. That is big. Check that out. You're kidding. Okay, now this is the difficult part. I need to... They do not like to cover you now. He's actually the usual. Actually, don't watch the paper. That was the most perfect swipe I could have possibly attempted. Nothing got scared. It was wasp on the edge of the net. I just poked it with the aquapod. It came off. One swipe, and I had it. Hold on a second. If we're ever going to do this thing, we have to look for them on plants. Or fruit because that's the we're not going to the nest. Hell no, I'm not risking my life yes, to go to the nest and get killed. Wow, there you have it. That is the warrior wasp. Oh my gosh, that is a large wasp. Wow, uh, I was excited to catch it. Now oh, I realize I have to steal my fate. That is crazy. It's like the size of my finger, the Look upper the part of my finger, this big. That creature. Oh god, no. Well. Part one of this mission is in the capsule. Part two is to get me stung. Ah, I have a feeling this what part three? could be just as bad as the whole thing.
just based on the knowledge that these are extremely aggressive, I have a feeling that the sting is going to be unbelievably painful, but I am mentally prepared to take this sting, and I know that this is the that moment that everybody's scary. been waiting for. Oh my god, those mandibles! Climb the insect sting pain index and reach the summit. And that was it, the bullet ant was it. But of course, we all knew we teased the warrior wasp at the end of that episode. And ever since, you guys have been asking for it, so today, Heidi Peterson is going to deliver. Here we go. Me too. That the hairs on my back. Wasp. Now up. the ultimate question that we are answering today oh is: God, I got Will the warrior wasps sting? This gave me more chills than Kess. I fuck you, Kess. <laughs> <sighs> I have to just sit back for a second and admire this creature. Oh, shit. How can something only that big, about an inch in length, possibly contain such a potent sting? Look at that iridescent blue coloration on the wings and its abdomen it's the size of the almost European looks horns. as if it's covered in velvet. Like You'll notice the body structure no. of this wasp is very it's the size distinct. Of, a red paper of course it has the head, oh, it has okay. a thorax, and then a very, very narrow space between its thorax and its abdomen. You know, the and one thing that I did notice That's when we saw these out flying around the nest is when they fly, they actually turn their abdomens upwards to a point in the air. Very different looking than other wasp species that we see flying around. Now, what's interesting is that this thing looks like a warrior, and when all of them are together and they're on the outside of the hive, what they will do to ward off anything that's thinking about getting into the hive is they will go boom, 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 boom. And sometimes they are actually called drumming wasps because they beat their wings together all in unison, and that's where they get the name warrior wasp. It sounds like soldiers marching. So when I look at this creature and its fierce appearance, it definitely reminds me of one determined warrior. And you know, the other thing that's real interesting about these wasps is they have massive front mandibles. Now, this is and a species red. that will kill caterpillars and bring them back to feed Wait, their so young, but they mostly feed on nectars four. and sugars. So this is not a creature that's out there hunting for oh. itself, only hunting for um, its young. So it's, but those oh, the mandibles, five I can easily see, would be used it's the to decapitate cow killer, or something like And then it's the warrior wasp, then the tarantula the hawk. Whoa, and then the bullet fifth place obviously like the is the ring bullet bullet. Uh, but of course it has wings because we tried it so different body and structure. the ring this is the this third is the most painful sting in the world a blue and I want to get stung by it but not now, this year just like I don't we did with the tarantula hawk the way to get this animal to sting me is we're going to actually place the glass capsule inside of this net I'm going to take off the glass top, let the net fall down on top of the insect, and I'm going to pick it up with these entomology forceps. I think you guys all know the game plan from there. Coyote's arm goes down on the table, the insect touches my forearm, and the sting is induced. Now, of course, for safety, we always have an epinephrine pen on set, just in case anybody's wondering. I'm going to just place this off to the side at this point. And if you guys are ready, let's get the warrior wasp into the net. Mark, are you all set? Set. What happens if the wasp gets aggressive and flies at us? Ooh, that's a great question because I will tell you what, this is one fast insect. Now, when I'm stung, as always, I'm going to try to get the glass capsule back over top. If I do not and the wasp flies off, just hold your ground for a second. Good chances it just wants to escape and it's not going to come after you guys. But if you are stung, I'm pretty much just going to turn the cameras around and film you guys to see what happens. <laughs> uh, let's, not do that let's hope that doesn't happen. Well, so far I've managed to get every one of these stinging insects back inside the glass capsule so that we can safely release it back into the wild right where it came from. And with any luck, we'll be able to pull that off again once more today. Let's keep that streak alive. Please. Yes, yes. For you guys' sake, let's definitely keep it alive. Mario, are you ready? Ready. The director Mark, of Brave Wilderness. Are you ready? I'm ready, if you're ready. All right, I am going to slide the warrior wasp off to the side. You stay there, buddy. And I'm going to place the net right in the middle of the table. Now, just like I did with the tarantula hawk, I'm then going to replace the capsule right there. And I'm going to lift up the net. See that? Good, you guys got that shot? Yep. I'm now going to remove 
glass capsule and let the wasp. A little delicate procedure. Oh, okay. The wasp is in the net. I'm going to gently pin it and I need to grab it right at the back of its thorax. There's something in there. Got it. Oh, that's a man. Perfect toy. Okay. Wow. There we have it. Okay, I'm going to have to do this quick. And that is not oh. as good a hold as I oh. am going to get. It's like a black widow wasp. Whoa, look at that stinger. Is that a... Did he just spray venom? She. Yes. Peterson. And I'm about to enter the sting zone with the warrior wasp. Here we go. One, two. That sound like that actually hurts. Now there are cells in there that are neurons, right? Those neurons are sending messages to my brain that are screaming pain, pain, pain. And trust me when I say there's massive amounts of pain going through my arm right now. Wow. Mm. The initial onset is not as bad as the bullet here, but it's an electrical shock similar to that of the tarantula hawk. Hold on, let me compose myself here for a second. Ah. 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 Oh my gosh, the pain is actually getting worse as time goes on. And I don't know if that's actually the venom taking hold or that's just the neurons firing to my brain saying, you are in a lot of pain right now, Coyote. Hold on, guys, give me a second. Ah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. It hurts so bad, you just want to remove your arm. You see the red? It seems more squirmy. Ah. This is this is more of a continuous sting than the bullet ant was. This is this is this keeps firing. This just keeps firing. Not this gun. Ah. It is that bad. If it's as bad as getting thrown by a ring paper off, then it shouldn't be a problem for us. I'm trying to just mentally like absorb the pain right now, and I'm I'm more tired. We've been working hard all day, and it's hot out here. I'm lightheaded. You know, you when you get into a really hot shower and the steam sets on, and you feel like you're gonna faint. I do feel like I'm getting close to fainting, and that is not good. I'm just trying to control my breathing. Tired. Ah, look at this thing well, immense. Man, yeah, definitely... that thing walloped me. I can only imagine what it would be like to be swarmed by these. Just a single sting dwarfs the sting of a yellow jacket. The initial sting was not as painful as the tarantula hawk, but then it set in. And it was electrical in nature. It felt like an electrical current going into my arm. So and I, you know, I was over here. I was hitting the ground saying, it's not as bad as the bullet ant, but in its own way, it's different because the bullet ant hit me and then just kept radiating. This feels like I'm being stung over and over again. Yeah, that's what it feels like getting somebody calculus. If you ever get somebody, which, don't do it. Go ahead, uh, put your hand up. Feel the tautness of my forearm. Oh yeah. You can see oh, yeah. Big time. stinger insertion point is 
definitely swollen. It is very much isolated. It almost looks like a little BB or something underneath my skin. That's, you know, you're reacting more like you did with the bees. With that immediate well. You know, my body may start to react differently to venoms. At this point, I'm just feeling really lightheaded. Very hot. My arm is very hot and not necessarily a state of paralysis like the tarantula hawk, but my... Any tightness in your chest or...? Not my chest. Tightness in my hand. Like this motion, squeezing of my hand is very, very difficult right now. Really having a hard time squeezing down a fist. You can see the swelling setting in there. It does still feel like pins and needles in my arm, but That's I know the is strong. That everybody wants me to answer the question. Is the sting from the warrior wasp more painful than the bullet ant? I would definitely say that the bullet ant is worse. However, keep this in mind. If you come across a bullet ant while you're out there venturing through the rainforest of Costa Rica, let's say one lands on your arm, falls out of a tree, and stings you, you can easily brush it off. However, if you stumble upon a nest of warrior wasps and you disturb it, you're going to have thousands of angry insects attacking you. And not only are they going to be attacking, but they are going to be chasing as you run through the underbrush. Now, I imagine if you were to take sting after sting after sting, it could potentially be lethal. So word to the wise, if you're out there in the rainforest of Costa Rica, simply admire these animals from a safe distance and always pay attention to your surroundings. I'm Harry Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> I feel like we're missing something. What? Uh, your famous lines. Oh, you didn't notice my t-shirt? Oh, I've been wearing this all day, man. Cool. Check it out. I read the comments, guys. As I hiked back through the sweltering rainforest, I could feel the physical and mental exhaustion setting in. And I knew there was still one thing left to do. All right, guys. Well, my arm is in considerable pain right now, but as always, he's close to the nest without the suit. The creature back into the wild. So what I'm going to do is open up the capsule and let this warrior wasp fly right back up to its nest. Please, please tell me they don't fly. Actually. Slowly opening the capsule, I released this fearless warrior and watched as it returned to the nest. I felt a sense of completion. There it goes. My personal oh, mountain, known as the Insect Sting Pain Index, had finally been conquered. It was a long, painful journey, but as I climbed past the cow killer, traversed the tarantula hawk, battled the bullet ant, and now withstood the warrior wasp, I felt as if I had finally reached the summit. However, as I stood upon this moment in time, it seemed to pass in a flash, as I was quickly reminded that the universe will always present its next challenge when you least expect it. Alright guys, so we have looked up Vespid Wasps of Latin America, and I have found out what this is. Just after we finished filming the warrior wasp, we came upon a species whose sting had yet to be officially documented and ranked on the insect sting pain index. Could this sleeping giant be the dark horse that would emerge from the shadows to claim the throne as the newly established king of sting? There is only one way to find out. I'm going to be stumped by the executioner wasp. If you are excited to see how bad the sting of the Executioner Wasp is, make sure you go back and pay homage to the reigning king of sting, Bullet Ant. And don't forget to right subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Oh my gosh, this is it. Oh my god, I never had so much goosebumps. Oh my god. Also, that egg part, was it the execution wasp? I search up in the list, and that's not the next the reacting video that we have to. I will want to react to it like immediately, but that's not the reacting video. The, that's next. The next reacting video is the giant hornet. Mm -hmm. Which people are calling it the murder hornet. But... Which is stupid because. There's another hornet more venomous than the than the Asian yes. giant hornet. 
and that's the Filipino Hornet. If you guys don't believe me, go check it out. But uh, the the whole nostalgia and oh my, I can't explain. What do you think? It pumped in adrenaline inside both of us because now we're like excited to like you know get stung by the word was. And not just the warrior wasp, when, when we're going to go and find these creatures, we're going to go after the tarantula hawk, which is going to be very soon. And then eventually, uh, by this year, uh, the bullet ant. And what else? The execution wasp. The execution wasp as well. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. There will be a lot of surprises coming in this channel, so I want you guys to stay tuned and actually subscribe. So you don't miss out the adventure that's coming that no one has walked upon. So, yeah, um, this was, this was the best, um, reactive video I've seen. I said this in the bullet ant video, I, bullet ant or honeybee, I remember one of those reacting videos, it sounded like it said suck scene, but that's not what I meant, I said suck scene. So, yeah, I started right there, but, yeah, I would get stunned by this wasp. So, mm-hmm, so. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the newest videos. And don't miss out um, the next video coming up, reacting to the giant hornet, which now the video is called Murder Hornet, because people are stupid these days. I'm not going to lie. So, th so, if you guys are watching this video, know your facts. Be safe and stay smart. Mostly know your facts. So, um, yeah, you want to say anything? Other than that, uh, stay tuned because we're going to react to, uh, continue reacting to the stings of the Brave Wilderness channel. Mm -hmm. There's like 19 or 20, I don't know. So, we're going to, I'm going to try and react to all of them on this channel. So, yeah. Chills Productions. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, Peace you guys. guys.